The one-day meeting between the National Information Technology Authority and the industry stakeholders was designed to highlight key information technology, security threats to both the private sector and public sectors. It emerged in the meeting that the threats are not only targeted at the business community activities like electronic transitions, but also digitally stored important information like that held by government institutions. Some, we are supposed to use passwords. For example, when you are using your computer, you know very well, uh, if you leave it open, another person can come in and uh, see the data, tamper with it, steal document X, change the other thing. A person can actually sit on your computer and commit a crime on another computer, and you'll be arrested because you're the owner of the computer, while the other criminal has actually disappeared from the scene. You cannot be traced. With the current deficiencies in the legal, regulatory, and enforcement frameworks, the ministry is voting for the formation of a dedicated institution to tackle the now surging cyber threats. In some countries, what they do, they set up what they call uh, an industry computer emergency response team which they share the resources of. Uh, this now, th this center is like, um, there will be very highly skilled guys who, um, when, a, when a crime has happened, let's say in Bank X, you, you, lo you call them immediately and they can act remotely even from their center and they will be able to try to see if they can trace and get this person. As cases of cyber-related crimes continue to surge, the ICT ministry further contends that government in the region should work in concert to tackle the problem since a number of cyber criminals appear to have a regional footprint.